Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be answering some of my most asked questions about how to get into chiropractic school, what classes you need, what's my undergraduate degree. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna break it to you. Um, if you go on all the different chiropractic schools websites, it will tell you all the requirements that you need to get into that particular school. And then it's pretty much as simple as that. <laughs> you just meet the requirements, fill out the application, and then, I hate to say it, you get accepted. Oh, so here's a really big kind of issue I have and had when applying to chiropractic school. Um, I was honestly, this, this angered me a lot that almost anybody and everybody can get into chiropractic school. Um, it angered me because I was coming from applying to dental school, which is so competitive. You have to be on top of your stuff. Like you have to do all these things to get in. Um, as opposed to chiropractic where I was just like, wow, I just sent an application and then a week later I got accepted. <laughs> I was like, what? For me, that just deteriorates the value of the education and the profession itself. Um, because I think there's a certain amount of significance that can be said about something that you have to work hard to achieve. Um, and there's a couple different factors why it's so easy to get in just because the amount of chiropractors are it is so little so they want more chiropractors we need more chiropractors um and that's like the biggest reason but i still just don't think that that is an acceptable reason to have a hundred percent acceptance rate might not be a hundred and yeah some schools are harder to get in than others because they have an interview process maybe but it doesn't mean the school is any better um so that is just gonna break that out there now that that ice is off the shelf if you have any more questions about that and if you have any concerns about that um feel free to reach out to me and i'll do my best to answer as what i can but as for actually applying a lot of you guys ask me what was my major? Um, what are the classes that I need to take beforehand? And my major was, I went to University of Kentucky and it was um, human health sciences with a pre-dental focus. So this was kind of a track that was for those people that wanted to go into the med field, PT, dental, etc. And it gave you all of your science credits that you needed, all of the math, whatever. And then it gave you exposure to things like ethics. You got to work in the hospital a little bit. So it was cool. Um, for chiropractic schools and for life specifically, you want to make sure, before I tell you all this, make sure you go check out the school's websites and what they each require because I'm only going from what I know that life requires. Um, so life does not require you to, you to have a specific major. Um, all that it requires is that you meet the specific classes and like, so it'll be like five credits in science or whatever, made that number up. But you go look on there and make sure you have all those classes and that's all you need. So like if you're a business major, just tack on as many science classes that are needed and you're going to be fine. If I had to give you any recommendation for a major to choose if you're interested in going into chiropractic it would be something kinesiology or pt related because having that background in anatomy and physiology is going to put you ahead of the game if you already know the muscles like you're not going into chiropractic school already ha like having to learn all of that for the first time so that would be one recommendation that I would have as to majors to choose. Um, also, one really cool thing about life um, that I don't know if any other schools offer is they have a dual credit program. So you can go through their undergrad program and get your bachelor's degree and then start the chiropractic 
program early. So where you're earning your bachelor's and in the chiropractic program, which is really cool because it ends up being about two years of undergrad and then you get to start chiropractic school. So if you're straight out of high school and you're like, I'm gonna be a chiropractor, this is it. Like, I don't really wanna go to university for four years. This is an amazing option. You save money and you save time, which is a win-win in my brain. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into super specifics in this video about the required GPA or stuff like that, just because it is posted on all the school's websites and I don't know those specific numbers off the top of my head. I could like pull it up and say it, but that's something you guys can go look into. So a lot of people will ask me, is there anything I need to do, like prepare for an interview or go shadow doctors in order to get into school? So like I said before, since the acceptance rate is like 100%, you don't need to do any of these things. But if you're really passionate about chiropractic and becoming the best chiropractor you can be, I would strongly recommend that you go shadow different offices and get a different a feel for all the different styles of chiropractic and how offices can be run. Because doing that before you get into the program is already gonna give you kind of a leg up on understanding your bigger picture of what you're gonna do when you get outside of school, which is a great motivating factor for when you're in school. As for interviews, there's only one school I think I know of it's New York maybe don't quote me on that that requires interview um yeah just double check and see if your school requires it more than likely they'll probably put like what the interview process is like on their website I don't know also if you're coming from another country and you need to see how like your credits would transfer over or if you're transferring from a different university again you can call up the school that you're interested in and ask them all those questions because they have all those answers for you guys um, and especially life because life has so many international students here that i feel like we're kind of experts at helping people from other countries come in and get their chiropractic degree um, so definitely check that out. I get a lot of messages from you guys all across the world, which is so incredible to see how far chiropractic is reaching. And I'm so excited for you guys that are so interested in bringing it back to your country. Um, that's such a huge opportunity. I have a friend that's from Finland and he is like one of the only chiropractors in Finland pretty much. So he's gonna go back and like take chiropractic back to his country, which is, just so cool to me. So I hope that you found this video a little bit helpful. I know I a lot of the time said go check out the websites, but that is seriously where you're gonna get most of your information about applying to school. Um, and if you ever have any questions, you can reach out to me, but you can also call that school directly and they will be more than happy to help you. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Stu, stu tuned. Stay tuned for more chiropractic related videos and since we're hopping on the almost becoming a doctor train, um, I'm going to start putting out a lot more videos about information that I have learned and things that I have experienced with my health along the way. So stay tuned for all of that. Love you guys. Bye.